Got crossfire enabled. We have the Sapphire 6900 XT Nitro Plus OC Edition. And we have the Gigabyte reference card, both in the system with the Ryzen 9 5900X. 4.8 gigahertz both GPUs are at default settings we're going to run Time Spy first then Time Spy Extreme because they're the only two benchmarks that work anyway um, yeah we're in for some really really massive scores here I did try previously the reference 6900 XT with the RX 6800, the reference card, and we got some absolutely monster scores there, but the 6800 was holding the 6900 XT back, obviously, so this time uh, there's going to be no holding back of anything here. These are two monster cards, full fat, unlocked cores. Well, we already have the first score in uh, flipping Eck. This is pretty insane. These cards are both um, just completely stock on automatic default settings and you can see uh, both the cards were around 2200, that's on the Sapphire card um, and this is the reference card, was also around 2200, 67 on the Sapphire, 62 on the reference card, obviously the sapphire one is behind the reference card so it has got less area to suck the air through um, you can see the power consumption was a little bit less on the reference card uh, but yeah pretty good overall absolutely mental scores crazy crazy scores <laughs> this is uh, time spy not fire strike this would be a good score for fire strike and uh, it's absolutely bonkers 36,757 on that GPU score absolutely crazy we've got 31,975 crazy GPU score 38,252 uh, the GPUs were sitting um, around 2400 MHz this time as you can see and that is because what I did was, as you can see, I uh, lowered the voltage. So I set the voltage to 1.1 volts and I put the fan speed up to 100% um, on both cards and the power limit up as well on both GPU 1 and GPU 2. 32,249. That time we got 38,500 on the GPU score and the GPUs uh, still clock into the mid to high uh, 2400s as you can see there I'm going to overclock the memory next, see what we can get on that 32,356 overall over 39,000 on the GPU score this time that was just with uh, overclocking the memory just basically put them both to the max on fast timings just keeps going up and up 37 or 32705 uh, both GPUs hit 2500 that time and we're sitting at like 2480 uh, maybe down to 2475 sometimes you can see the CPU score went up a little bit that time as well so we only got about 200 more points on the graphics score on that last run the GPU score went up a little bit more again um, this time it was just over 2500 for most of the benchmark and graphic score 39,343 CPU score is almost 17,000 which is surprising so I haven't got the RAM set correctly again because when I uh, reboot with power down mode uh, disabled it, it doesn't boot from cold basically so I have two different memory profiles. The memory timings out for the CPU now 
and the CPU score has gone up 16,900. We've also uh, bumped the GPU score up a little bit even though I haven't changed the settings. So we've got 32,900 exactly which is 100 points more than before. Hopefully we'll be able to hit 33,000 fairly easily. Finally there we have it, over 33,000 overall. Unfortunately I haven't hit 40,000 on the graphics score yet. You can see both cards were at um, basically 2550 MHz. Still going to carry on going up. There we have it ladies and gentlemen. 40,000 graphics score. Shame it didn't get uh, 17,000 on the CPU score at the same time. We've got 33,114 now and the clock speeds are at 2560-ish so approaching 2600. Uh, temperatures are getting pretty pretty warm, 61 degrees on the top card there, the sapphire one. And we, you can see the power usage has gone up to nearly 370 watts per card as well. Got over 40,000 on the GPU score again, but this time we got much nearer to my 17,000 that I wanted on the CPU score, giving us 33,335 overall. And the clocks were uh, 2590 to 2600, 33,478. It's holding around 2610 to 2630 megahertz now both GPUs, 33,633, sitting at 2630 to 2650 on the core now, 380 watts, 379 watts, almost 41,000 on the GPU score now. It's finally crashed, it's pretty uh, spectacular actually surprised it was still going so what did we get up to got all the way up to 2725 on both the cards at 1175 on the voltage there I am gonna play around with it because obviously it did get a higher score at uh, um, 2700 exactly and 2600 minimum exactly so somewhere in between those two numbers should be the sweet spot I think. I've managed to get a slightly higher score of 33,710. GPU score still around 40,800 though. I think the CPU score just went up a little bit. And that's all she's got for Time Spy anyway. It's just crashed again. Uh, put it up to 2730. So, and it's completely reset this time, you can see both sets of fans on both cards are spinning. That's it. So we're going to move on to Time Spy Extreme now, finally. Boom, first Time Spy Extreme score and we've got over 20,000 on the graphics score and over 17,000 overall. We were only at uh, 26, 20 as well, so... Yeah, it's getting 63 degrees though, which is pretty hot considering uh, it's freezing in here. I mean, what temperature is that idling at? 18 degrees. That's 17 degrees. Yeah, it's getting all the way up to 63 and even 86 on the hot spot. And that one's getting up to 98 on the hot spot. Spicy. 17,120. Let's carry on. It's crashed. It's just still crashing. It's not processed that it's crashed yet. So, it was only at around 2650. But this one was at 2693. So I think it was GPU 2 that made it crash actually. You can see it actually reached 405 watts and 390 watts on that last run. So I'm actually probably in the power limit again. Because uh, it's set to 350 
plus 15 percent so that's like 35 plus half of 35 again so yeah it, it is actually hitting the power limit again which is pretty crazy I might actually need more power which is insane and if you look that's just the GPU by itself that's drawing 400 watts so this system with the CPU as well is probably drawing well over a thousand watts you can see it was reaching 63 degrees on the Sapphire GPU and the hotspot temperature on that one was over 100 so that's, that is pretty spicy I think that's where we're going to end it here, it does keep crashing you can see uh, we've hit 407 watts, 402 watts on that last run I actually crashed in the CPU test but I can't get any more out of the GPUs because they just keep dying basically so it's a bit of a shame but we're going to have to call it there I mean we've, we've got some absolutely mental time spy scores here and uh, yeah over 10,000 cores of AMD epicness so absolutely crazy crazy performance I mean I think the 3090 has uh, the same number of cores as both of these put together and uh, one 3090 you get smoked by this <laughs> it's, it's not as fast as two 3090s though to be fair so yeah anyway this has been a uh, pretty epic video to make uh, there's no point running anything else because nothing else works so that's it for this one I'll see you in the next one it's probably not going to be as exciting as this because uh, it's not every day you get to test like 10,000 cores of uh, GPU power so anyway goodbye